Welcome to the Dr. Fantastic and Thunder show. We don't have Thunder today because this is an, um, an impromptu uh, interview. We've got Martin, who has just brought to my attention something that, you know, I knew that the Atlantic, or I'm sorry, the Pacific Ocean is 70% dead because of the Fukushima disaster. But uh, Martin, what were you saying about the other oceans? It was just a world report that was released. Uh, the UN released a report on climate change, and they're saying that we have 12 years to affect drastic change on the impact we're having on the environment, or else we run the risk of coming across a a life-altering event that will change the course of the world. And within that report, they were saying that 60% of the organisms and life in the ocean overall is dead as a result of the impact of... As of this time. As of this time. As of right now. As of right now, based on... All of the stuff that we've done to, to harm our world. So we really need to take action as fast as we possibly can in order to prevent negative impact down, down the line. Well, I told you that uh, there is an ex- extinction level event occurring today. And that is the Fukushima uh, nuclear uh, meltdown. It happened seven years ago uh, at the nuclear power plant at Fukushima, Japan. And so that is um, our, our one of our um, tasks is to educate the people on that. And things like, when we hear things like this, we also can include that so people can be aware. First, it's about being aware, education, ed- educating the public on not just to go to 8 to 5, think outside the box a little bit, think about what's going on on our planet, you know what I'm saying? So we've had six extinctions before. Uh, this Fukushima is one. It's, it's happening today. And by the way, anyone listening, on if you want the images of this and you hear more from experts... Go to Help Dr. Fantastic and Thunder Save the Planet. That's a YouTube channel. Uh, and we're going to probably talk about things like this, what Martin's talking about. Uh, did you, is there a link, uh, Martin, for people to look up? Uh, yeah. You know what? I don't, I don't know if I have the link. It's uh, the UN Climate Change Annual Report. Okay, that's good enough. Is effectively where you can look up the, this information. And uh, well, well, I know that 25 species every day on the planet are, are going extinct. And that's just not because of us. I mean, that's just a natural progression of evolution of life, you know. But, I mean, I'm certainly, certainly we're killing a lot in the ocean with, with the radioactivity and in the air, you know, with the re- radioactivity. But um, this is something new to me. And um, I heard there's another one about plants that I looked up today. And um, I'm going to have to come back to you with that information but there's a lot of problems happening and humans are making them you know with the co2 emissions and you know you know i mean just regular forest fires are are, are causing problems but that's a natural thing there's a lot of yeah you know it's 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 interesting and to your point about being able to take and make impact in your local community i was listening to a piece on npr the other day around biking and they ranked the most to least friendly biking cities, right? And one of the pieces that they noted was LA has the worst infrastructure in the entire country. For bikes. For bikes. And so, you know, our city, state, and local government need to really step up and be a part. Well, here's the problem. People. You help one person and you screw the other. What happened recently, I think it was last year, they made a bike lane on Venice Boulevard towards the ocean. Like, four or five blocks worth yep. so they took away a parking lane and they put a bike lane in yep. and that reduced from three lanes to two going west to the ocean right and everyone's up in arms because now the people driving That's are right. stuck in more traffic while there's a f- couple bikes going by right so you know it's such a balance the world is such a balance when you cure cancer and that's why no, no cure is coming out blatantly it screws a lot of industries. A lot of people are going to lose a lot of money. A lot of people in stocks are going to lose a lot of money because those companies' stocks are going to go down because there's a cure for cancer. You know, you know what the cure is? Is to stay alkaline. You know, diseases breed in acidic environments. If you can get your body alkaline, you'll never get cancer. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> That's something to, to know about. And the way to get alkaline, we were born alkaline. You know, the tribes in, uh, in the Amazon don't get cancer. Because they're alkaline, they're balanced, right? And so, drink a lot of alkaline water is the first step. But try not to eat too much acidic, too much prog- you know, foods. Did you know that there's a cure for aging now? I didn't know that. Yeah, the telomeres. Uh, these guys won the the Nobel Peace Prize for this. 
our, our telomeres in our body, part of our DNA, unravel as we get older because we don't treat our bodies and our mind properly. Well, they figured out a way of stopping the unraveling, which means you can live a couple hundred years now if you do the right things to your body. You know what I'm saying? So people don't know that. And do you know why they don't know that? Same reason they don't, they don't know why that we have a, an extinction level event going on. The government doesn't want you to think about these things and live longer. They want you to work day 8 to 5, go home, watch TV, and do it again the next day. Become numb to the issue. Numb. Exactly. Numb, numb, numb us up. Numb is dumb. Numb. So, uh, our, this channel is about in giving educa- educating thoughts and processes and inventions and, and, and technologies to the people so they can make a decision for themselves, you know? There's lots of stuff that make your body healthy, make your mind better, improve the, the conditions on the planet. And this is the show that's doing it. And, and, and out of this show came Help Dr. Fantastic and Thunder Save the Planet. My wife thinks I'm totally insane, but if you don't try to do something, you can't do it. That's right. And uh, I'm not going to ignore the fact that my planet's dying from an extinction level event, and I didn't make it up. I didn't. When I told you about being fantastic, I didn't make up endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make this stuff up. I'm just sharing it and, and putting it to use. Now, you can be fantastic and, and change your life and be a better person and let people in on traffic. Novel idea, right? How good does this person feel I'm letting them in on traffic right now? Probably feels pretty good. Probably feels pretty good. His day. Yeah. And, it, and he, so I feel good about doing it and he feels good. It's called karma. When you tell people you're fantastic, you've made them feel better. How cool is that? That's cool. That's cool. It's pretty cool. cool. And it, it's about smiling. People smile at Anyway, I, I, I divert. Um, I, I want to get more back to that um, 60% because I, I happen to know that uh, a lot of species, even outside the oceans, are dying um, on the planet. Of course, our, as you might know, um, by deforestation, deforest- we're killing the oxygen su- supply to our planet, which is pretty bad. Oh, here's another thing you probably didn't know. You know the uh, chemtrails? You ever heard about chemtrails? No, tell me. The, the, there's these chemicals that the planes are releasing that people claim are killing them and they're, they're correct in that assumption and their barium and all kind of different things that, that scientists have figured out will save the atmosphere okay? okay so they're doing that and let me ask you a question if you knew that was going to save the planet but kill 500 million people would you do it or would you not do it that's a heavy question it's a, it's a, but it's a real question yeah I, I, I would need to think about that. I How would you even... Understand. You shouldn't think but 10 seconds on that. Yeah. Save 7 billion or kill 500 million. You gotta, you Do gotta the save, math. Yeah, yeah. You got you to gotta save 7 billion. But look, the impact of 500 million hey, people is insane. You know? It's insane, but the impact of 7 billion is insaner. Right? Yeah. So it's a terrible thing to make a decision on, but I think the governments came to that decision. And they're saying that the aluminum that's being dropped uh, is going into, into the fields and it's killing it's going to kill hundreds of millions of people yeah, but it's going to save the planet well tough decision yeah, huh? it's a tough decision you don't want to I have that as your bookmark in history that says that's you right. made the decision but right. um, and they're going to come, come out and say that but I know the guy who knew the guy that came up with the solution and he knew it years before it came out but he didn't have a, he didn't couldn't help him get to the right person you know but if you look at chemtrails they're, they're not uh, I always thought they were just the exhaust, but they can't last for uh, you know six hours. Right. A chemtrail, you know. Anyway, so that's another thing that people need to know about. They do do the I'm research. Looking it up right now. Yeah, please do. You, and there's many documentaries yeah. that talk about it, and it is killing people. But if it's doing the right thing, there you go. Hmm. Okay, well, we, we did 10 minutes, my friend. How about that? That's good. Well, did you learn a couple things? Thanks for popping it on and having the chat. Yes. Okay, Martin, I have to have one last question. How are you? I'm fan fucking tastic. There you go. <laughs> we have another fantastic person in the world. Martin just joined at 711. Great number. He's going to be the he's going to brag the rest of his life that he was the 711th person to join the Be Fantastic movement. And as you people listening might know, we're going to give you a free EMF reducer. Uh, And uh, that's great. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.